So I know I'm a bit slow on this news. Uh, in my defense, I'm just slow in general. But boy, was I so freaking hyped to see that the trailer for Link Click Season 2 was finally out. You already know my nerdy ass was going. Personally though, I thought the trailer was less of a trailer and more of a teaser. Pretty much felt like a continuation of what happened after that massive cliffhanger in Season 1. Naturally, since it's Link Click, they followed up on this cliffhanger with, you guessed it, ANOTHER F***ING CLIFFHANGER. But anyway, I just wanted to make this video so we could take a closer look at the trailer together, while also making the classic jokes that I know you guys love so much. Stick to the end for my thoughts and predictions on Season 2, and without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so here we got the Popo just randomly busting into the photo studio with Cheng Xiaoxi, knife in hand. That's not a good look. Oh, fuck. The police immediately detain him while he begs for them to call an ambulance because someone was injured. We all know who that is, but oh my god, look at poor little Tiao Ling. Oh no, she looks so... Alright, so now the policeman's inspecting Lu Guang's body and... What? What? What is that? You guys see that, right? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that his finger? Leave a comment down below if you know what that is. Oh, you see... This is interesting. One of the policemen says that Lu Guang has multiple stab wounds. God, I sound like a fucking masochist saying that. Okay, so the reason why I pointed this out was because at the last episode of season 1, I remember Lu Guang only being stabbed once before falling back into the couch. But I don't know, I guess the imposter actually stabbed him multiple times after that. That's good, they're taking him to the hospital now. And to everyone that thought Lu Guang was actually dead, you clearly haven't watched enough anime. Of course he's still alive. They can't just kill one of the main characters. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. So now they're looking to target Xiaoling next. Oh. Damn, okay. Chang Xiaoxi got the moves. Oh, shit. Play the clip back. Dude caught the knife in midair, bruh. <laughs> I think Cheng Xiaoxi has been watching too much of that self-defense guru on TikTok. Detroit Urban Survival Training. Okay, Tiaoling regains her consciousness, sees the blood on her hands. So apparently, this scene and this line could be a reference to Tiao Ling comforting Cheng Xiaoxi back when they were kids. Shout out to this person in the comment section for pointing this out. If this was intentional by the director, then it's a cool little detail added to the trailer. What? They can't just kill one of the main characters. Wait, what the fuck? I don't know, there's not really much information to go off of in terms of what Season 2 will look like, other than the fact that it will continue right where we left off in Season 1. Only thing we know for certain is that Lu Guang is in the hospital. Dead or alive, we'll have to see, but... I still think he has plot armor. The more alarming thing is that Cheng Xiaoxi got arrested. How's he gonna contribute to the story when he's in jail? This is why someone also speculated in the comments that Tiao Ling will be the lead character in season 2. I like this idea because it's a good way of adding something fresh to the new season and it's not completely unimaginable since we saw so little of Tiao Ling in season 1. Season 2 could be where she shines, especially since Lu Guang is missing. Sadly though, personally, I don't think Tiao Ling will be the leading character, simply because she has nothing to do with the whole killer plot. Don't get me wrong, I would love to see more of Tiao Ling, which is why I think she'll be the perfect supporting character to Cheng Xiaoxi as he goes to confront the killer. But 
Karu, didn't you just say Chung Xiao Shi was in jail? How's he gonna fight the killer in there? Well, recall in episode 9 of season 1, where Cheng Xiaoshi goes back in time to gather information on Liu Min. In this instance, he didn't actually high-five Lu Guang before going back into the past. I'm sure you know by now that the reason why they do it is so that Lu Guang can communicate with him. But Cheng Xiaoshi can go back to the past by himself, so long as he has a photo. Sure, there won't be any communication between Lu Guang and Cheng Xiaoshi, but... Uh, I don't think there's much communication to be made anyway. Point is, escaping jail won't be a problem for our main protagonist. Another theory I have could be that the police are actually working with Cheng Xiaoshi to find the killer. Okay, I know he just got arrested. Calm down, hear me out. Remember the police guy that arrested Liu Min with Cheng Xiaoshi and Lu Guang's help? And Liu Min kept telling him that his friend committed the murders, not him. Now, obviously, the police guy would want an explanation for all of this, right? Especially from the boys that helped him capture Liu Min in the first place. We'll look no further than Cheng Xiaoshi himself. This sort of explains why the Popo just randomly busted into the photo studio without anyone actually calling them, because they might have wanted to see Cheng Xiaoshi and Lu Guang about this issue. And, you know, all that stuff happened. But here's where it gets better. In this scene of the trailer, when Cheng Xiaoshi is reassuring Tiao Ling that everything will be fine, well, yes, it could be a very heartwarming callback to an extremely minor detail that signifies the almost familial bond between Cheng Xiaoshi and Tiao Ling, sure. But it could also be a message to Tiao Ling, one that says, It's going to be alright, I'm actually working with them to fix all of this. Now, have a think for yourself, this is just my opinion, see if you agree with me or not, but I think we can agree that we are all hyped for the release for season 2. Comment down below your thoughts and theories on the new season, and I hope to see you on the next one.